A fight in a food court sends a whole shopping centre into lockdown. A Sunday afternoon at Adelaide's largest Westfield, some people were shopping, others at the movies. And someone like went out of the movies and all of a sudden everyone just came running in and just sprinting in and everyone was yelling, run, run. Um, we hid behind the seats at first, but then we just got up and started sprinting and running for the emergency exit. Police say a group of three boys armed with expandable batons approached another group of boys in the food court. I have looked at the CCTV. It involves three youth and I will call them boys under 18 years of a Caucasian appearance. They approach another group of boys and an altercation occurs. Police say the boys chased the group through the shopping centre. The altercation triggered the shopping centre's emergency procedures and while some shoppers evacuated, others sheltered in place. My, my wife and their daughter are still inside one of the stores in lockdown, so that's why we've sort of that's why we've hung around, obviously waiting for them to make sure that they're okay. So we've spoken to them and they're getting looked after in one of the stores. Ambulance officers treated two people who were injured while they were evacuating. No one was injured as a result of the altercation between the boys. I am aware that in the evacuation process, we had a female who I believe is 77 years of age might have fallen and suffered. A fracture. As staff and choppers were progressively let out of the Westfield Marion Centre, there was a feeling of relief and just wanting to get home. This one had come too close for comfort so soon after what had happened in Sydney. Obviously, really sad, serious situation, and um, obviously, with everything that happened in Sydney, everything's hyper vigilant and on alert. So, um, it's been pretty, um, pretty full on watching the police arrive and everyone doing what they're doing. But Police say they know the identity of two of the victims and it doesn't appear to be a random attack. They've so far been unable to find them or their attackers. Matthew Smith, ABC News, Marion.